In this case, we will describe the technique to, we followed in order to overcome a minor complication of sinus membrane perforation during sinus lifting. This case was referred in our clinic in order to place an implant on site number 16. Since number 15, the premolar has been doomed hopeless and needs to be extracted. So we decided in order not to leave the patient without teeth to proceed with the sinus lift in the site of number 16 and at the second stage surgery place an implant on number 16, remove number 15 and immediately place an implant at that site. We started with the window preparation and upon membrane lifting we got a small tear on the Schneiderian membrane. As you can see, when the patient inhales and exhales, the membrane moves and this shows to you that this is not an absolute criterion in order to know if there is a small perforation on the membrane or not. We proceed with the lifting of the membrane all the way to the medial wall and following that we utilize a collagen membrane in order to fully cover the small perforation present on the membrane. After the membrane is fixed in place, we will proceed with bone graft placement and we utilize FDBA mixed with tetracycline and we pay special attention in order to thoroughly condense the bone graft all the way to the medial wall and also mesially and distally in order to have a good amount of bone when we place our implant. Performing lateral wall sinus lifts for single implant sites, due to the limited access, the whole procedure is way more difficult to be performed. However, this was our choice here because of the limited amount of crystal bone available in the shape of the sinus. That's why we did not proceed with an osteotom technique. You can see that we are very thorough in order to fully compress the bone graft. The size of the particles is big enough and will allow for vascularization of the site. After we have completed the bone graft placement, we cover the window with a collagen membrane and then we will proceed with flap replacement and suture. Six months later, you can see that we were able to grow a good amount of bone vertically, so we can proceed with the implant placement. So at that point, we remove number 15 and we immediately place a legacy 3, 4.2 by 10 millimeter implant on the 15 side and the same size implant on the number 16 side. Three months later, we proceed with uncovery of the implants and placement of healing abutments along with some hydroxyapatite material on the facial surface of the implant. This is the x-ray of the patient three years post prosthetic treatment where you can observe good interproximal bone stability around the implants. Thank you for watching.